Okay, it's the weekend. Your little one is sick. Your pediatrician's office is closed. You need to go to urgent care, but you don't want to drag the other kids there as well. We've got another option to tell you about. KXAN's Arzo Dose takes us inside one urgent care clinic where you can FaceTime doctors. Inside urgent care for kids in Cedar Park, this is not a typical exam room. This is the telepod room. This is Dr. Hallberg coming to you from the Woodland Clinic today. It's equipped with a screen and camera. This is virtual pediatrics. Uh, but we also have an otoscope and a stethoscope. Families can skip the waiting room and a few clicks later connect with a pediatrician. The doctor gets alerts at the different clinics and the first available answers the call. So I could have a doctor sitting in Dallas or Houston looking into my eardrum here. The doctor will then walk the patients through getting vitals in the telepod room. So if they needed to hear the lungs, uh, they could put this up. The mom or dad could put this up right to the, the child's chest. And uh, again, the provider could, could hear all of that from, from any other clinic. If you can't make it to the clinic, then you can just FaceTime one of the doctors from home. The doctor will talk to the parents about symptoms and can even diagnose over FaceTime. There's many times that there'll be parents who have sick children and either they need to get to their jobs or they have another sick child and, and they really can't go outside their home easily. So I think this is a great tool for them to be able to uh, meet the children's need uh, you know, without leaving the home. If doctors think it's more serious, they'll call you in. Arzo Dost, KXAN News. And the clinic says if you have to transition from your house to a clinic, then it's considered part of the same visit. Virtual pediatrics is covered by insurance, and urgent care for kids also offers discounts that can be cheaper than a copay. There are nine other locations which offer virtual pediatrics, including in Dallas and in Houston.